I tried to apply to school. I had to get a copy of my high school transcript. I contacted my high school. They told me the records had been removed somewhere else. Where did the records get sent to? Fort Benning, Georgia, because I went to a military high school. Presumably, at the time, the high school closed down, and so the records had to be stored in Fort Benning, Georgia. So I contacted who I needed to get in contact with, and they sent me my transcript, but it was different. It was completely different than it was. The one that I submitted for college, 20 more than 20 years earlier, said some things, and it was different, the one that I got. There was different numbers, there were different grades, and it was dated for February 14th, 1992. In February through March of 2017, I received a transcript from high school that said I started high school on February 14th in 1992. And that's not true. If for no other reason than the high school transcript revealed grades for more than one grade that was not after, exclusively after February 14th, 1992. And it also included grades from a school I'd gone to in a different state that happened to be a public school and not a DOD school. But it was reflected on my high school transcript as if it was part of the middle school also associated with my high school. Now, I knew it was a fraudulent high school transcript, but it had come from Fort Benning, Georgia, right? So I contacted the people I had to contact. I even contacted the senator. I contacted the high school specifically. I contacted the people I needed to contact at the Department of Defense. And lo and behold, this crazy thing happened. First of all, everybody I talked to had the same kind of accent. It was a different voice. It wasn't the same voice. But as soon as she started talking to them, it was like something clicked in. And they automatically started talking in a very familiar way with a very particular kind of accent that was supposed to have an implication of a particular racial, ethnic background. And so there was a specific manner in which you had to understand the communication. This happened no matter who I tried to contact, right, for years. Now, I had to get two. One was just a regular version, and then one had to be officially sealed because I applied to two programs. I got the official sealed version for the program that was funded through a grant from the Department of Labor. Gave it to them, got admitted to the program. Lo and behold, the week before school starts, well, we've canceled this program here. If you want that class, you have to go to another school. Okay, fine, so I'll go to the other school. Well, I couldn't go to that school because they wanted to sign me up with a pipe fitter. The curriculum I wanted to study was only available if I was tag teamed with a man I'd never met before who was a pipe fitter. We were supposed to be, I guess, co-students. Oh, really? No, I never saw what happened if you broke the seal, so to speak, on that high school transcript. And after that, that specific community college, the one I originally applied to, well, I mean, they didn't have time to talk to me. Even after I took the piss test, that was part of the drug test you had to take to qualify. February 14th, 1992. It just so happens that this week, the budget I have to work with is a metric of 92. And everything has me coded to some very precocious girl. Doesn't quite look the way I look now, but does look like the way I looked when I was actually a little girl. Except she's got a different characterization. And she's supposed to be Latina. And I'm crying almost compulsively in excruciating pain and have been for the last three days. I'm not supposed to be the Attorney General. I'm not allowed to be the Attorney General. And they were never going to teach me that anyway. We were never going to teach you that. We wouldn't have let you know if we knew you would do this. Do what? Well, you're not supposed to talk about it. Talk about what? Well, there are other things you were supposed to do. We wouldn't have taught you if we knew that you would do what you did. What do you mean, do what I did? You mean you tell somebody you touched me down there? That's exactly what I'm hearing. That's what I've been hearing all week. That's what they did. Somebody stole my actual high school transcript, or rather the fraudulent replacement that I had to get from Fort Benning, Georgia. And that's what they coded it to, and they've been running that all week in the background. And in the meantime, I'm supposed to understand I was seized, and everything that's mine belonged to somebody else anyway. 
And anything that demonstrates that I'm actually, I don't know, above the age of consent, that was already given to somebody else. And I'm bankrupt and we're bankrupt. That's what they want the attorney general to be doing. That's what they want everything else connected to the name Charity Colleen Krause, which goes so nicely with their pension scheme and genetic engineering racket. I'm probably around, what, 12 to 13? Very, very precocious. Modest, a perpetual virgin, so they can do anything they want to me because I'm always going to be a virgin no matter what they do. I'm pure. I'm pure, so they can do anything they want to me, and I can do anything with them, even sexually, even in the most depraved manner, but it doesn't matter because I'm pure and I'm a virgin. And there's a big problem right now because the next president was supposed to be Latino, and because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do, we've got a problem. I don't know what I'm going to do about this budget. See, I've done everything literally that needs to be done in order to deal with numerous reissues that are pending that I'm absolutely 100% entitled to have a claim to that could be put to good use, especially in connection with the fact that these reissues have been accumulating because of a refusal to prosecute crimes at a very high level. But the budget they gave me to work with is about a 12 to 13 year old girl who's beautiful, light skinned, blonde hair. She might be from this Slavic land in the background or that Slavic land in the background. And they want that, right? They want that character. They want that DNA. But they wanted to be Latina. And I need to understand there were certain things I was allowed to do. And there's a whole bunch of other things I'm not allowed to do. So if I try to do them, it's kind of like you took your dad's shirt and you put it on and you were playing dress up. That's what they want me to believe. You're just playing dress up. It's like you're playing dress up. Like you got into your mom's closet and you put on her clothes and you pretend to be a grown up. You pretend to be a big girl, but you're just that sweet little girl. Don't worry, you're pure. You haven't done anything wrong, but you're very sensitive. And because you've been bad on this level, you gotta understand if you just give up and admit and acknowledge that that's somebody else's and you just took it, well, you'll be okay. There are these things that you're allowed to do. And nobody, you, you're allowed to do these things. But all this other stuff, you're not allowed to do. And if you have access to it, well, it's just because you were trying on their jewelry or you were trying on their clothes. And it may look nice on you, but it's not yours. And we're not going to give you anybody to talk to. And we're not going to give you any money for yourself. And you're going to have to understand we've already given you to them to do with what they want. And all that other stuff, don't worry about it. That's somebody else's, like your DNA, like your transcript, like everything you did before in your life. That's somebody else's. If you behave now, well, I don't know what happens if I behave now. See, my budget is only for this week, and then next week I have another budget, but I don't know if I'm going to get through this week because there's no fucking way I'm accepting it. You know what I mean? We're kind of at an impasse because there's actually literally teenage girls right now that are having their livelihoods signed away for 25 years of being trafficked and harvested for paradigms that don't even make literal sense. Because even if you get a young woman that, that is that highly productive and capable, and even if you could justify finding a way to kidnap her so you can continue doing this, apparently the people who devise this are so reckless and irresponsible with what they've harvested that they can't even keep from defaulting even after they steal all the good stuff well, that somebody else was just trying on. And they still end up blowing it. They still end up blowing it. And I'm 43 years old and supposed to pretend like I'm what? About to be 13? I mean, my birthday's in two weeks, right? So I'll finally be 13? I mean, that's what they budgeted for this week. For me, at least. That's what I'm supposed to be dealing with. With the understanding, I mean, <laughs> and you know what comes next week, right?